Before we get started in this video, I do want to take a moment and say this Sunday, June 30th at 10 a.m. on our channel under the community, we are going to open up a discussion about why don't you go to church? Uh, what is it about church that is holding you away? Uh, because I have my struggles as well, and I'm going to share those with you this Sunday. Uh, but join us. That's going to be under the community tab at the God Family and Guns YouTube page. I'm down here in the Ozarks, right in the heart of Missouri. And the other day I went to the local gun store uh, looking for a good 22 LR handgun to do some squirrel hunting with when I wanted to hunt with a handgun. And I didn't buy a gun. Um, and that was contradictory to the advice that the gun store uh, fella gave me that really leaned towards this somehow ability to trust the local sheriff uh, not to turn my paperwork into the ATF. Now, before I get into this, now, what is, what is all this? What are we talking about? I do want to take a moment and thank our sponsor, Victory Chrysler Dodge Sheep Ram, for not just supporting our channel, but literally being the hands and feet of Jesus Christ by building orphanages around this world and food pantries around this country. To many degrees, there being more of the church than the actual church. But we've also partnered with them and we're giving away a brand new tracker fishing boat with a brand new Mercury engine or a brand new trailer. All you got to do is call the number below. Call Victory Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Kansas City, Kansas. Schedule a virtual test drive from anywhere in the world that you are and you are automatically entered to win that boat. We're giving it away around the 4th of July, so you're almost out of time. All right, now what am I getting at? Well, let's start with the advice that I got first. Because I, I, I wanted the gun, but I told him and kind of reminded him that, you know, I don't know if you remember me, but I was here just a few days ago and I bought another handgun from you. So I, I want to wait my five days so I don't get a multi-gun purchase that the, then you give to the sheriff and then he keeps on record for eight years in case the ATF wants it. Now, what is that? Well, ultimately, let's talk about the multi-gun purchase before we talk about not trusting your sheriff and why you cannot trust your sheriff. And I'll tell you the advice he gave me. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, what a multi-gun purchase is, if I buy a handgun, um, I can only buy one every five days. I mean, I can buy as many as I want, but it, I'm going to get a multi-gun, uh, essentially, document that's then required by law to be then filed with the, the local sheriff. Um you can buy as many rifles as you want, uh, but by law, that gun store has to report you to the local sheriff as making a multi-gun purchase. And then that stays on your record for eight years. So I'm not interested in that. Now, the advice he gave me, we said, well, our local sheriff has told us that he won't do anything with this paperwork, that he's just going to destroy it if the ATF ever comes and looks for it. Okay. First... I don't know that to be true. So what is it we can't trust about our sheriffs? Well, one, they're humans and they might say something, but I've learned that to judge people not by what they say, but by what they actually do. And of course there's millions of sheriffs all over this country and they're all gonna say and do different things. Um, you know, in the county here in the Ozarks, I believe that he, his heart is in the right place. But let me tell you something about your local sheriff. You were only one election away from having all that stripped from you. So all this trust, like let's say he's your buddy, you can trust him. He will never, he will take those documents to his grave before he gives them to the ATF. Well, there's another election coming and, and he might not be sheriff here in a few more months. Um, then what? Then what? Like, that's kind of what I'm getting at, is you can't trust your low elected officials for that reason. Even if you thought you could trust them, they're about to switch. You know, so this is terrible advice. Don't ever take this advice from anybody. <laughs> like, don't, if, you know, don't have a multi-gun purchase. Like, just, you know, at least for me, I, I don't want one. So I'm not interested in that. Buy as many rifles as you want. But for me, I'm only going to buy one handgun every five days. <laughs> I'm going to wait. I don't want that multi-gun purchase, and I definitely don't trust my sheriff to give that information to uh, the ATF. So 
uh, you know, and I'm going to recommend you don't trust your local sheriff. Because uh, again, even if you can trust your local sheriff, you're just one election away from that being just nonsense. So uh, there you go. Uh, did not buy the handgun, by the way. Thought that was nonsense advice. Terrible, terrible advice. Um, and, uh, you know, no five uh, day multi-gun purchase for me. So uh, this is how I recommend you avoid it. Uh, just don't do it and don't trust your local sheriff to somehow guard over, you know, you, your rights and all that. Cause you, you know, one, what a guy says and what he actually does are often two totally different things. Two, he's, even if you did trust him and he really would take it to his grave, he's just one election away from losing his job and somebody else would be more than happy to give your paperwork to the ATF. So. Uh, there you go. Any thoughts or insight, definitely put that below. Um, you know, again, don't forget to register to win that boat. I also want to take a moment and say that most people that watch this channel, not subscribers, click that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, Guns. And as always, love God. Love your family. Love guns.